Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Eek TV. This is your host Ajay Gupta and today I'll be talking about 9 reasons on why to buy Infocus M530 and 3 not so good reasons on basis of which you can reject the phone. So guys, uh, first of all, uh, if you, I talk about the touch of the phone, it's a really nice touch. Zooming in, zooming out and swiping right, re uh, li right, left, top, down. It's smooth on this phone. So that was the first thing. Secondly, if I talk about the colors on the 5.5 inch HD display, it's not full HD, HD display. But the viewing angles are great. The colors are nice. Uh, there is no bluish tinge or warmness on the screen. I'm really happy with the colors and touch. Moving on. Two, the third factor is the build quality although the phone is plastic but I have this metallic side perimeter on the phone which adds uh, premiumness and uh, quite a nice style to the phone moving on to the fourth aspect guy it has to be the front facing camera I could have placed it at number one but I wanted to talk about the build quality first and let me show you the front cam image guys uh, I haven't seen such an image in you know uh, greatest of flagship and expensive devices uh, let me just zoom in I this is non beautified image and you can see the beard clearly guys this is a front facing camera this is not the rear camera you can see the skin tone you can see eyebrow eyelashes you, you know everything you can see the skin pattern uh, hair strands everything is visible in great amount of details guys simply stunning I mean uh, this is a really nice front facing camera moving on the rear cam now this is 11,000 phone or less than $200 if you're outside of India and I'm having a dual tone flash which does not render the image yellowish uh, I'll show you uh, this is a problem which I have seen in several cameras using dual tone flash uh, and uh, they simply end up rendering the image pretty much yellowish so the image is appearing uh, out fine in this phone and it doesn't turn out yellowish moreover moreover the rear camera has this optical image stabilization feature which uh, you know provides stability through the image and provides a better image again uh, first in this kind of segment if I talk about the phone while gaming while performing heavy tasks and other things it does heats up every phone does but the heating is not that significant so now talking about the processor this is the seventh part and uh, Infocus has opted for MediaTek processor octa-core MediaTek processor with two quad-core chips and you can see the benchmark 52,322 this is slightly uh, overclocked I believe but again you will uh, get it uh, above 44 45,000 and I played games like Modern Combat 5 Future Fight no problem no frame drop simply superb awesome result guys no problem at all the next factor that is 8 factor is the battery factor and the back plate of the phone is removable uh, which reveals this battery can be removed it's a 3100 milliamp hour battery and it provides a decent one day battery juice uh, with moderate usage guys even with heavy usage it will easily last till evening so I'm pretty much happy with the battery too the next factor which I have displayed in my hands-on video of this phone is the OTG and app to SD guys app are movable to SD and the phone also support OTG which is a really nice thing so guys what's the bad part about this phone so it's a five and a half inch phone now some people want a smaller phone so single handed usage is not uh, comfortable on this phone you need to use two hands the second factor is that the these days phones are coming out to be pretty light be it a metallic phone they are light but this phone is quite heavy this is not as light as other devices and the final part is that uh, I remove the back plate I'll remove it again so you do have slot for two sim cards but then only a single sim card can be 4G sim 3G or a 2G sim but uh, the second sim card has to be a 2G sim so if you want to insert two 3G sim cards or a two 4G sim cards in near future then that is not possible on this phone guys that was all guys thanks for watching the video if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button over here i'll see you next time have a great day